it's time to use every one-time sight on the AK-74 and then rank them in a tier list. Industrialized Meditation let me know that he doesn't like my preferred sight, which inspired me to use all the sights with the same loadout and then rank them in terms of effectiveness. Starting with the red dot, I consider this the default one-time sight option as it's given for free on all the starting guns. This sight has a clear, bright red dot in the centre and has great housing that is both very thin to not obscure your vision too much and is also quite large. This is good as the framing is positioned further away from the centre of your screen compared to a lot of the other sights. Overall, there's nothing wrong with this sight and it's a clear S tier sight. The reflex is a sight you're told you have at home when you're asked to buy a red dot. This sight also has a clear singular red dot in the centre, but the housing is worse than the red dot sight as it's closer to the centre of the screen and therefore blocks more crucial parts of your screen than the red dot sight does. The frame is still on the thinner end of the scale and the singular clear red dot in the centre of the screen means it's still a good sight. The reflex earns A tier. The Cobra is a sight only available on Russian guns and trades a central red dot for three lines. This is usually a positive in other games that implement Cobra sights, such as Battlefield 3 and 4, as the lines are easier to keep track of than a singular dot mid-firefight, and the lack of anything at the centre of the sight does not block your view of the target itself. However, this distinctive sight has been done dirty with Batamit's implementation of it. Because of the housing, which is thicker than the sights we've seen previously, this means it can block key information that you might be able to see with other sights. It's at the bottom of A tier, below the reflex. The PKAS sight is another Russian weapon only sight, and this sight offers a singular red dot enclosed by a thin black ring. The clarity offered by this sight is top tier, with non-intrusive framing and no other visual clutter. It's also our first circular sight, which is beneficial in battle bit if you lean spam as it rotates cleanly and does not add distractions with awkward housing rotating. Despite being a winner on paper, my issue with it is that the red dot is very faint, meaning I lose track of it at longer ranges and cannot compensate for the gun's random kick as easily with this sight. Due to the faint red dot, it's on B tier on my list. The strike fire is another circular sight, so again, great for lean spamming and the unique quirk of this sight is a tiny red dot surrounded by four lines that create a tight circle around it. This adds a lot of clutter to the very centre of your screen, and I find it blocks vision of enemies during longer range firefights. Its housing is non-intrusive and great as it's circular, but if the PKAS's issue is that its reticule is too faint, the strike fire's reticle is too much. I rate it A tier as I still really like the feel of this in closer range maps, it just suffers at longer ranges due to its reticle. Oh dear, it's the Razor. This is easily the worst non-joke sight in the game, and I would hope that none of you seriously use this. The Razor has an extremely bulky body, which blocks far too much of your peripheral vision to be seriously considered. On top of that, it offers a faint red dot that's surrounded by a brighter circle, but when fired, its targeting reticule seems to bounce around on the screen far more than similar holographic optics. It's very hard to use and gets D's here from me. Avoid. And next up, a decent holographic sight. This holographic is based off the famous EOTEC sight, and Battlebit's implementation of it corrects every issue I had with the Razor. The sight is mounted closer to your screen, so the frame is not as obstructive as the Razor's, but it still blocks enough of your peripheral vision to avoid S tier. The targeting reticule is a clear red dot enclosed by a circle, which means it works great for precision shooting at range and in closer combat, you can just aim using the larger circle. It also shoots with more stability than the Razor, perhaps as it's rendered closer to the screen. Anyway, I really like this sight and it's top of A tier for me. The Holo PK120 is the EOTech ordered from Wish. It's visually smaller than the holographic sight in game meaning the housing blocks more crucial areas of your screen. The framing has an unfortunate trait of narrowing at the top, which further blocks key parts of your screen. That said, the targeting reticule is great, with no complaints from me, and it stays on target easily for me. The chunky central framing of this optic holds it back, and it places in B tier for me. Ahead of the PKAS, 
as it can sometimes obscure some information, but it's overall still a solid sight. The OKP7 is a unique sight for multiple reasons, the most distinctive of which is the targeting reticule, which is a green arrow surrounded by cobra-esque lines. The problem is in battle bit, these lines are relatively quite thick compared to what they need to be, meaning they can potentially block details at further range fights. Additionally, the green colour is quite pale and is commonly getting lost on backgrounds in the game, making it harder to stay on target. Also, there's too much clutter with the amount of arrows and lines in the centre of your screen. The housing is good, but it's not enough to save the site from a very low rank of C tier. The aim comp is a fantastic option. It has a simple bright red dot in the middle of the screen that's easy to track and keep on target when firing, even at long range. And the housing of this gun is thicker than average and is placed near to the centre of your screen, but it's also circular, meaning you can lean spam with ease with this optic and not have additional visual clutter. I find the aim comp a fantastic option to get easy kill sheets with. Just watch out for its slightly bulkier framing which could hide targets at further ranges. It's still S tier, above the red dot. The HS401 G5 is the sight you see used in most of my videos. This sight is a variant of the aim comp. It also has a bright clear red dot reticule that easily stays on target at range, but the difference is the framing. The HS401 circular housing has slightly more clutter on it than the aim comp, with dust covers on top and an adjustment dial on the side, but it is positioned further away from the centre of your screen than the aim comp, meaning it blocks less critical areas of your screen. This to me makes it the best sight in the game at the top of S tier. The FE sight is trash. The housing on this sight is so bulky that when you're aiming you're better off remaining unscoped until you're directly shooting even in close quarters. See this example, where I'm aiming at a window and it blocks me seeing both the door and the second window entry points. The only redeemable trait is that it's funny, but it's at the bottom of D tier in terms of usability, sometimes even worse than the default iron sights, depending on the weapon. I'm sure many of you will disagree with my placements, and that's fine. If you want to argue your case, I'll be waiting to hear it in the comments. Remember, it's personal preference, and most of all, I'd recommend to use what you feel like performs best in your hands. Thanks for watching.